Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, good evening, good night, good afternoon, and welcome to Show Tuesday. Happy Show Tuesday to everyone around the world. Um, this is episode number 63 of the show, and it's a, it's a different one. We're going to be flying by the seat of our pants a bit here, but it's fun, too, because uh, we're going to introduce you to some people. You may notice that Stephen is not in his normal environs, and I'm not either for that matter, but Stephen's in a way more interesting place. He's muted now because as soon as he comes online with his audio, you'll, you'll get a feel for the energy where he is. Go for it, Stephen. Where are you? So I just want to explain to people, New York has reopened. I am in the West Village. Uh, behind me, you see the red the red sign. That is Katana Kitten, which is, for my money, now my favorite cocktail bar in New York. Apologies to all of my dear friends at other cocktail bars. I'm just going to say that tonight. Maybe tonight it's my favorite. It's, it's pretty fantastic. I, I had actually the best gin and tonic of my life. Like, and that's saying a lot. That is. Right. It's it's a she's she's so gin and tonic. And if you are ever, ever, ever in the West Village, you need to get to Katana Kitten and order the she's so gin and tonic. It is sublime. The it's not so gin and tonic. I'm going to ask. So um, so the reason that I know about this is our friend Jake Tenenbaum. This is Thank Jake. You, there he is. Those of you in our Japan Drinks Discord know Jake. And uh, Jake ordered it without me understanding why he ordered it. And he's like, oh, you should try it. It is so good. And they, what do they do with the shisha? They actually do a different, I'm yeah, sorry, you so, probably want to hear him, but. So instead of just using a standard tonic, they make their own tonic syrup infused with shiso and then did, mix it with soda oh, water. Did you catch that? They, they infuse yeah, they, tonic syrup with shiso to make their own tonic, which is that's insane. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's really, really good. So, Christopher, if and when you get to New York, <laughs> hint, hint, could be soon. Uh, could be soon. <laughs> yeah, you need to come to Katana Kitten and try this Shiso Gin and Sonic. It was so good. But the problem is everything here is good. All of the drinks are great. And Masa, the, the head bartender, who's the, the mastermind behind Katana Kitten, just published his first book. He's got a cocktail got a cocktail book so we should definitely uh hopefully we can have him on a future show He's yeah super personable really really friendly guy I had a great conversation with him tonight and uh the book is called the japanese art of the cocktail the japanese so, art of the as cocktail. opposed to the more right as opposed to the more well-known the complete guide to japanese drinks it's the japanese <laughs> art of the cocktail so <laughs> it's a it's pretty it's a be- it's a beautiful book and uh, he's a he's a phenomenal bartender, really, and it's such a friendly guy. And like everything's on point. The food's great, the snacks, everything. Really, really enjoyed uh, this evening at Katana Kitten. I know you're just waking up, having your coffee. I've now had a couple. I'm happy. Uh, Jake and I just you know had had a lot of fun today, and we we made a discovery, a pretty yeah. pretty tremendous discovery, which is the other thing I think we should talk about. What's this that? may be our shortest episode ever because we're now moving on. We're now moving on to the second Just topic. Like all the content. And we're four minutes into the program. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I, I guess this could be newly opened if you want to put that up on the screen. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yep. And the newly so, opened is. I'll put the I'll put the banner up for it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> newly opened was a few minutes ago. We opened this, uh, for those of you who know the packaging, this is a Mars. Uh-huh. Right? Yep. This is yep. from, from Mars. Yep. This is a single cast Komagatake. Yeah. Yakushima aging. So down on, the, down on the island, right? Way down south. Yeah. And this is, uh, it's bourbon, bourbon cast, single cast. Foolproof, sixty percent alcohol, and it's peated. Oh, that peated bourbon cask, or it's one of the peated ones. This is, well, this is peated bourbon cask. I mean, it's a peated whiskey bourbon cask aged in Yakushima from from Mars, from Kumagatake, right? 
Yeah. It basically tastes like American barbecue. <laughs> it's, okay. it's like dry rub ribs. Like, how do you make a whiskey that tastes like dry rub ribs without barbecue well, sauce? You, yeah, you peat it, and then I guess you age it in a in a in a rickhouse that's right on the windy coast of a tropical island. That's how you do it. Yeah, it seems like that's that apparently is how you do it because this stuff, it it's incredible. The the secondary notes, or the secondary note on the on the on the palate is beef jerky. It's, okay, it so is it's not for, this is not for vegetarians, had. basically. Um, vegetarians, beware. You're going to get a no. whole well, lot of notes no, that you... Well, te- no. It might be good for vegetarians because they can experience meat without eating meat. Right? Yeah, they can true. drink their meat. <laughs> drink your it's, meat instead and not none of the guilt. Um, exactly. Right, there's no animals. Yeah. No animals were harmed in the making of this whiskey. <laughs> right? I, hope, I, mean, I, I hope that's true. <laughs> So I think, you know, it's, 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 I was, I was, I was shocked. I actually found it in the duty free coming back to the States and I wanted to give Jake a nice sort of, you know, nice little gift when he showed up. Cause he's Jake. Let's, let's talk about Jake for a second. Yeah. Let's talk about that guy. We'll have him on, we're going to have him on a few future episode because he's just like, he's a savant. He's a spirit savant. I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Oh yeah. He talks about, in- he talks about spirits I've never tried in a way that you and I talk about shochu, right? He is an Armagnac fiend. I'm not sure I ever mm-hmm. had Armagnac until today. And Jake was like, you should no try kidding. this. And it was, it was oh. beautiful. It was a oh, really, really oh, fantastic oh, yeah. Armagnac. But this is not Armagnac distilled or France distilled. This is Japan distilled. So I'm not going to actually reveal the brand that he introduced me to. But okay. it was really, okay. really nice. I'm sure I've had Armagnac, but without understanding Armagnac. And Jake, Jake gave me a master class on Armagnac this afternoon, which is really, really cool. But he, and that's just one of the spirits Armagnac he's might be a master what of. He knows, right. No, and I think he knows whiskey much, much better than he knows Armagnac. Yeah. Although he actually oh. admitted that he might, he might prefer Armagnac to whiskey. Okay. He did. He did tell me that. Whiskey, except for talking. Well, yeah. And but <laughs> Jake is also, I'd say, within the last year, has made himself one of the international experts on shochu. I know. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right? I I yeah. wholeheartedly he's, agree with that. That I can. He's verify. very, 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 very quickly become a shochu expert, and I'm just, you know, at some point, I think you and I can retire. Because Jake Tenenbaum just essentially just take over the Japan distilled empire, and uh, mm-hmm. you know it's. But anyway, but when we opened this Mars bottle together, it was like, why does it taste like barbecue? Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 wild. I've, I've never had a whiskey that tastes like that. I feel like it's something that like one of the big whiskey distillers in America would do. You know, they like they have like honey bourbon. And stupid shit. You usually the one to swear on the show, but I've had a few drinks. Um, stupid shit like that. And and this is like somebody intentionally put barbecue meat in in the bourbon barrel to, to add flavor, right? Or or like some liquid idea. smoke. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right, but this was like a this is a natural distill. It's pretty pretty cool. Oh, the NYPD showed up. I guess I'm too loud. Can you see the, <laughs> the lights flashing? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Oh, the I, popo I, I might have to go see Not a night out in, in New York. In, in, in for, yeah, because you're, you know, it's technically illegal to film on the street, bro. but we're not using a tripod, so we should be okay. Um, oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, sorry, you could sorry, do it. Sorry, phone call. Do you have anything to share with me? I, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I got to say I'm envious because... Uh, you're you're already safely in New, in New York and and you know out there meeting and greeting and getting the word out about show to an awamori so that's very cool. Um, I'll be joining you, like you said, in a couple of weeks. But just to our everybody watching for the next several weeks, there's going to be a an American element to everything that we talk about, and particularly we'll be talking about Japanese spirits in the American market. So beware. 
there's going to be a lot of that content coming up. And, uh, and yeah, Jake, Jake Tenenbaum, who uh, Stephen and I have gotten to know very well over the, the last, what is it, a little over a year now, I guess. Uh, and just, he's an, he's an integral part of everything that we're attempting to pull off, and there will be little bits of information about that coming in the weeks to come. Uh, I'm still in Kagoshima. I am double jab now, which is a relief. And I am doing just doing some work at the university. I did, however, go to, um, I guess I'm going to call this, what should I call this? I'm going to put a banner up just because I've only used one banner and I feel weird not using more, not newly open. How about uh, Booze News? Um, I went to Oyama Jinshichi, which is down in Ibuski. It's a, it's a really innovative distillery down there. They just got a new, shiny, cute, gold, uh, bronze, you know, pot still in. Well, it's a hybrid still, isn't it? And it's really small, and it's they're, they're using it to make new things, which is going to be very fun. And I didn't really, I didn't taste anything necessarily, but uh, I tried their their cola, the Yoshi cola, the the it's it tastes it smells and tastes like a cola, but it's not the cola that you think. And and it really interesting. They do a lot of interesting stuff. I like those guys, uh, Satsuma no Homare and and other shochu brands. So that was fun, and uh, got to to see some you know just driving around Ibuski and you know Nagashi Soul Man and the whole nine yards and. Um, but, uh, let's see, I, you have a question here. I think that's something that I want to throw up on the screen. I don't know if you, yeah. you're, no, you I, can pay attention. I'm, I'm on my phone. I can't see the chat at all. So anything that's okay. out here. And, uh, and actually, um, so just. Anagman commented on YouTube. He said, or this person said, uh, they, they uh, watched your Japan Society Shochu talk, and it was awesome. And what field are you a professor in, or what do you lecture in? Shochu, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah. No, it's it's a, that's another life. Um, you, you can you can send me a DM or or uh, either direct message or you know chat with me privately. Happy to talk about it, but not something that I tend to share publicly. Like to keep oh, okay. keep worlds. World separated. Um, but what I'm going to do actually to, to prove to you that I'm in New York, I'm going to turn around here and we have the NYPD right across the street. There. Right. Um, we got people out on we got we got people out on the sidewalk. See all those tables? That, like this doesn't this didn't exist. I was in New York 18 months ago as at the start of the pandemic. I came back to Japan, and now look at it. It's just there's it's crazy. Like there's just people hanging out at night, and they, these are, this is a cocktail bar. They are sitting on the street having cocktails. I have a mm -hmm. feeling that when, when everything is over and this completely reopens, it's going to be like, it's going to be the Roaring Twenties again. It's seriously going to be insane. Like, everybody's yeah. going to have to come to New York and drink and, and have fun. It's just, everyone needs some stress relief and it's just going to open up and it's going to be pretty outstanding. I mean... But it's it's just such a nice vibe. But it's so different yeah. than New York I left 18 months ago. Oh, for sure. Right? I'm sure. I mean, it's just, and I mean, it just, I mean, we're just, I'm just sitting outside right now. I'm basically on a stoop, right? This is a building's stairs behind me up to the, the residential. And just hanging out on the stoop. And I can smell the, the aromas wafting out of the kind of kitten. And everything smells great. Like even though we've already eaten, it's it's like their their menus on point. The the food, the drinks, everything. It's like really a really really good spot. So definitely, Christopher, you and I will have to come here once oh, you get yeah. to town. Yeah. And uh, yeah, very very cool. It's exciting. I think you know. I mean, of course, we're not out of the woods with everything that's going on, but you know, things are getting better. Nature is healing. New York City Thank now has know. cocktails on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a, that's and, a sign and you know, of progress. I mean, seriously, New York is going. New York is going to do things first and weirdest. 
as they always do. And I'm really, really curious what emerges out of all of this. It's going to be fascinating to watch, to observe what's happening. Um, and yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, it's good. Awesome. Any other questions in the chat? I'm sorry, I did um, not, not, not keep me. an eye I on mean, I, I think you, you, you deferred on that one, but I was actually thinking you could talk about, didn't you, didn't you um, lecture at Columbia University or something? Or, no, 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 um, not Columbia, at um, uh, Cornell, sorry. I did, I used to, actually I did used to teach at Cornell University a um, long time ago, it feels like now. But not an interesting topic at all. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. What I'm gonna keep keep pushing on that one. Okay. You're, you're like I, you're like CNN. I will, I'm like a Republican re, Republican senator. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I'll 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 relent though because uh, the same question was directed at me. Um, uh, in terms of my lecturing, um, I basically am supposed to be right. Currently, I'm so I'm. On paper, I'm I'm talking about marketing, but in reality, I'm brainwashing my students about all things Koji. Pretty simple. I'm just running them through the paces on Koji culture, uh, and nobody complains, so I haven't gotten in trouble yet. Uh, and uh, let's see if there are any. I'll check if there are any other comments. I don't think that. I think that was it. Okay, cool. Um, to close it out, I I think. I want to say, um, everybody out there, please be reminded that tomorrow is Stephen's birthday. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so th these are preemptive birthday drinks for him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If, I'm sure his, yeah. compa his I mean, companions are aware, but I wanted everybody else to know. Technically, in, technically in Japan, it's already my birthday. So I, is, I'm not even pre-gaming. I'm just. Keep, I'm just. The fact that I'm still, still jet lagged, I'm actually drinking on my birthday right now. <laughs> gotcha. I'm just drinking that, at, gotcha. at ten in the ten in the morning in Japan. <laughs> that's correct. It's ten twenty three, yeah. so um, it's just an early start for the day for your birthday. Um, so that's right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's and, uh, it's not a milestone birthday or anything, but it's it is my birthday tomorrow in New York, today in Japan, which is always just weird to think about. Um, and yeah, I was told that I don't look my age, which is nice. I don't get that as much as I used to. When I was 40, people thought but, I was in my late twenties. But you've, uh, you've got, uh, and you're in better now shape that I'm than in you were in my fifties. People don't think that I'm in my late twenties. Mm -hmm. I'm in better shape than I've been in, I'm guessing 10 years. Yep. So yeah, you know, I, I mean, you gotta, you got to keep your body in shape as you get older and use it or lose it. That's right. So, of course, every so often you need to let loose and visit Katana Kitten and have amazing drinks. I, I mean, Especially what, on your birthday. what I would recommend, okay. actually, or the day before your birthday, or the day after your birthday. Um, I would recommend for those of you who have the chance to visit Katana Kitten, when you walk in, don't have any idea what you want to drink. Just tell them you'll start with a highball and let them surprise you because I think they probably are the best highball bar in America and possibly in the world. Their highballs are incredible. So just, just order a highball. Just say, I want a highball. Surprise me. Like, nice. Great advice. Really, really good drinks. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and, man, this, uh, this and after that, fun. just enjoy, you know, order what you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I was I was about to close it out just because uh, I figure you're running low on your bat your headphone battery. You're gonna be like out of juice in probably a second. Probably am. Yeah, um, probably. And uh, exactly. we, I think we should stick yeah. to our plan to keep this one short. It'll be 20 minutes. Um, Jerry, so happy to see that you made it there safely and are having a good time. Please say hi to uh, Jake and yep. Jess for me. Can't wait to see them. Uh, and you want to say hi to Jake? Jake and, J Jake's yeah, here. Say, Hello. Yeah, you, buddy. Good morning. All right. <laughs> good, thank you. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Good morning. Good yep. Yeah. And right, good uh, stuff, Christopher. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your time in Kagoshima and definitely see you here soon. Yep. All right. Uh, until next week. Until next time. Everybody out there all around the world, have a very hearty, 
Uh, no, no, no. Have a good day. Have a great night and a very hearty and heartfelt compliment. <laughs>